So we know that the White House has used an Abbott test called ID Now, which takes about 15 minutes to return results right there on location. And we heard from Corey Lewandowski this morning on the Today Show uh, that they still use that test. When you go to the White House, you receive the Abbott Lab. It's a 15-minute test, and they notify you if you test positive. So when I was at the White House on Saturday, I was notified that I did not have COVID-19. Again, on Wednesday, when I was with the president, I was tested immediately before seeing him. It took about 30 minutes. It was probably the Abbott lab test again, and I was notified that I was negative for that. Now, the reason this is particularly interesting is as far back as May, there were signs that there could be issues with that test potentially returning false negatives. And experts tell me the testing technology behind that test really isn't suitable for asymptomatic screening and really is better for potentially using them in the doctor's office where people have symptoms. Uh, and that negative test results really should be confirmed uh, with a stronger, more sensitive test. Uh, now, Abbott, for its part says that its test has been used for more than 11 million Americans. It doesn't know which test was used uh, for the president and the first lady, uh, but does know that their test is shown to be more than 95% sensitive uh, when used seven days after people get symptoms. Now, there are other tests known as PCR tests, and those are really the gold standard for being the most sensitive, for really being able to pick up virus, sometimes even being criticized for being too sensitive because it can pick up viral fragments even after somebody's recovered. That is what you get um, if you uh, get one of those nasal swabs and it's sent away to a lab. It can take longer to come back because it does have to get sent to a lab to be processed. Uh, and then you get your results a day to seven days to sometimes in the worst case scenarios even longer than that later. We don't know exactly what the White House's testing protocols are, except that they use this Abbott test and it takes 15 minutes. They could use other tests as confirmation, but certainly the appeal of a test like that is it only takes 15 minutes to get the result. And so if you're using it to screen people to get into an event, you can do it right away, whereas other tests do require time to come back, and then somebody would need to quarantine uh, in that time frame to make sure that their status doesn't change since the time that they gave the sample for the test. The problem is that those rapid tests don't catch every infection, and so using it for asymptomatic screening for people going to the White House and interacting with the president it can be problematic.